Also, we broke her back. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. <laughs> That, we're, we're pretty brutal. We, we just snapped her spine in two. That, that is not how humans bend. This it, we can tell she's a magic user because she's, uh, stored quite a lot of mana in her tits, but, uh, but, uh, then, then we snapped her spine. She's, she's pretty dead. Hello, this is Yaweasel. This is EverQuest for the Pocket PC. I'm really very much hoping that I am near the end of this game. I mean, I am on one of the last quests, right? Yeah, like, I, I've got Befallen Revisited and then whatever that is. I did install the, uh, extension, uh, expansion. I am yet to see any sign of the expansion existing or being a thing, so I'm just gonna sort of take the game's word for it that something happened there. Uh, last time I made a beeline for that sort of, uh, that, that suspicious spot at the end that it turns out did nothing. Now, I don't know where to go, because I don't feel like I missed anything last time, everything's just kinda here. So, follow the left wall, then, and since we've already been here, zzzz. That's a door! I remember that door! That's that door right there! It's sort of right across, and it's, it's a place that I am not right now. Hello, door! I remember you, you jerk door. It opens! Hey! We're making progress! Okay, yeah, 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 I now remember that. I sort of expected there to be multiple doors of that kind, but there weren't. And I also expected it to be sort of right at the end, but it wasn't. So, you know, everything is wrong here, whatever. Still not really sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> I feel like they've done a lot of world building, but not a lot of, and here's the reason you give a crap. <laughs> Okay, more hallways. Given that I've already sort of explored a lot of this map, I have to suspect that this is not going to be much. Like, there can't be that much more after what I've already explored. Y'all, we'll cast death! Another mummy decided to get up in my business. Victory! Doing pretty well against these losers. I think I am just fine. I think this game is, uh, definitely... Well, I played it on normal mode. I guess I could have gone harder. But on normal mode, it's definitely balanced very, uh, easy. It's not... It's not a difficult game. I have not had to do a lot of worrying. Period. <laughs> I was gonna say worrying about something, but I just haven't had to do a lot of worrying, like, at all. I hope I'm not just failing to see doors. The doors have been pretty obvious in this area, but I wouldn't put it past them to make the doors suddenly non-obvious. Yeah, don't move. Just just stand around. A vampire! I don't think we've seen a vampire before. Have we? I don't remember any vampires. Well, it was, uh, quite the threat. <laughs> I feel like it did some initial move that froze me, because I stopped walking, so maybe it, it freezes you, but... It freezing you isn't really that much of a threat, if it itself isn't that much of a threat. You always look ass death! Victory! I might have been clipping my nails in the middle of the stream. <laughs> Okay... Yup, it's hallways! I <laughs> uh, There's like, there's a size limit on areas before it just becomes boring, and I, I think we've uh, stepped well beyond that. <laughs> like, way beyond that. It's tough with this uh, style of graphics to make areas that are actually interesting and unique, but... Uh, Tell you what, they haven't done it. <laughs> this this area is interesting and unique, but you sort of experience all the inter interest and uniqueness in the first two rooms, and then you go, well, yeah, now I'm just gonna wander around killing mummies and dread ghouls and vampires apparently always look cast death. Victory! The door is locked. You need to find the lower befallen key before you open it. 
I like how I know that it's called the Lower Befallen Key. Okay. Well, I guess there's, there's thankfully more area here I haven't explored. I would hate it. It's like, well, now that you've gotten to that door, leave again, go on another quest, and then go back to Befallen a third time. <laughs> that would be slightly annoying. Whereby slightly annoying, I mean extremely annoying. Queen's Chambers! The Queen is running away! She's turned into a vampire! You always will cast death. Victory, tell you what, those vampires, in spite of uh, having very dramatically spoken names, aren't uh, very threatening. <laughs> they are not putting up much of a fight. Tell you what. Let me just completely explore this room, because I think it's tiny, and then I will go through that door. <laughs> Gauntlet in chat is suggesting that every locked door from now on is going to require that I go out and do another mission. Thanks for jinxing that. You always will cast death. You always will cast death. I got, as a prize, silk leggings? Oh boy! I want to pick up leggings off a mummy and just put them on my body. I can see no reason not to do that. Uh, AC4 versus AC3. Heck yes! Look at these kids. They, they've been cured by being brined in the juices of death. Leather jerkin I can't wear. Uh, silk sleeves. Where are sleeves? Padded sleeves. I will wear only silk because they're better armor than padding. <laughs> Everybody knows that when you want to armor your body where you wear well, you, I'm just going to try that again. Everybody knows that when you want to armor your body well, you wear silk. <laughs> where am I now? I feel like I've gone outside the realms of uh, everything. No, okay, I'm just here. In the infinite hallway. In the crypt mummy hallway. Always a cast death. Victory. I keep forgetting to check this. A fine steel great staff. That might actually be good, or it might be what I already have. Fine steel great staff. Thanks for not telling me the uh, attack. Oh, 6 through 22. That's the same as what I already have. I would drop it on the floor, but I know that if I try, I'll never be able to uh, not pick it up. So let me go into a corner where I can drop it and just uh, leave it to stink up the place. And you get to be garbage. And probably you get to be garbage. That'll do. Boy, I love inventory management. It is the best part of any video game. Ooh. Queen's receiving room. Yeah, I have a shipment from UPS for the Queen. <laughs> I like how there's that locked door over there to, like, the staircase or something, but the Queen's receiving room isn't freaking locked. Okay, Spectres. I remember Spectres being extremely annoying, and hey presto, they still are! You always will cast death. Victory! Let me just loot this Spectre corpse. Ooh, what did I find on the corpse of a Spectre? A full flask of mana! Prizes! Speclad is being confused by flashing and says, Items on the ground flash. Okay, good to know. I can't actually tell. <laughs> Weirdly, you have a slightly better view than I do. <laughs> it's just, you know, one of the consequences of recording in a very awkward way. Queen's play room. Okay, let's go f*** the queen. I'm completely down with that. Uh, I'm here to have sex with a corpse! Hello? Hello? Well... She's, uh, she's into some pretty, uh, pretty rough stuff. Oh, hello! Ha <laughs> ha! It's her prostitute! 
what voice should I give to her prostitute? And I'm, I'm just, I literally, if you were wondering why there was a, an awkward silence there, I was sitting here thinking, what were, what voice should I give to her prostitute? Uh, Hail, adventurer, have pity on this poor priest. I have been the captive of these power-hungry fools for too long. I fear the coming of each day more than the last. My spirit has been broken, and I long to end this misery. <laughs> Pitman Vine in chat suggests that I give Molo's voice as the voice for the prostitute, as if I can do impressions. You move to free the priest from his bonds, but he stops you with a curse. From his bondage, but he stops you with a curse. No, fool. Do not release me from this bondage. It's the only thing that keeps me sane and constricts my body. I ask you to release me from my bonds that constrict my soul. These fools have trifled with powers beyond their understanding, and I have suffered through their tortures and experiments. I no longer have full control of my senses, and do not want to cause anyone else the pain and suffering that I have endured. I fear if I was released that I would not be able to control myself. You must destroy Kurtz Nduart <laughs> and his future bride Fatima de Kadiri has promised to make Fatima his queen when he gains the mastery of the Dark Heart. Every day his power increases, and Fatima has taken to calling herself Queen Fatima de Noir. She is an evil woman with a dark soul. She has been responsible for most of the pain and sorrow I have experienced here. Take the key ring that you see hanging here. You see how she tortures me by hanging it just outside the reach of my shackled hands. Well, just a second ago, you didn't want us to unshackle you. You wanted us to unshackle you from the mortal plane. Be careful with Fatima. Her appearance is deceiving. She is quite beautiful. Well, I mean... <laughs> I, 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 as the character with the, uh, most balloon-like breasts in the game, I doubt that she can possibly compete with me. But she is a master of forces that you do not understand. She is from a long line of Shadow Knights and is quite powerful as a warrior and spellcaster. Destroy her and my suffering will end. Couldn't I just kill you? That would be, like, real quick. I've got a staff here. I could just, like crush your skull. It would be like so fast. Just one click, bam, and all dark. Whatever. Many have passed this way, but none have returned, and here I remain. I can only assume that they were overcome by Fatima and Dunar. I once again entrust my hope in the hands of another. I wish you success. So basically, his role in existence is to sit here and watch people try to do the quest I'm about to do and fail. <laughs> Good. 10 out of 10. So glad to have you on the team. So this suggests, like, not maybe not final boss, but final boss-ish, because this is the person trying to unlock the dark heart, right? Queen's Chambers. Dun dun. You hear Fatima chuckling softly as you open the door. So just immediate attack, no conversation, huh? Okay, that's fine, you don't have to be a conversationalist. Fatima de Kadritz! Okay. So far, not ideal. So far, I kind of feel like I need to go over here and go over there and go like that and go like that and go like that and get that uh, protection against elements on because I am being burned to pretty, pretty bur burned. I'm, now I'm trying to make a pun about attitude. Anyway. <laughs> Good! I love when spells fail, thank you! I forget what White Skull means. Oh, I can click on that! Fatima de Kadritz! Level 13, slashing damage 9 through 13. It looks like quite a gamble! Which I guess means maybe, maybe not. Kinda hard to say. I, it's maybe about time for me to get some health potions uh, down here. Full vial of health I think isn't actually that much, but it should be enough to 
sort of push me over the uh, over the, the the edge here. I actually maybe should just focus on mana. I've got a bunch of mana garbage that I never use. Boy, I love this interface. What I want to do is click through everything, looking for the one item I actually give a crap about, and then drag it down to here, and then close this interface and click it again, just to use the damned thing. <laughs> Best item in interface ever! Well, you know, good on them. I'm actually doing that. Like, I'm applying some thought to this battle. <laughs> I'm applying a non zero amount of thought to this battle. I'm gonna win, but I'm applying a non zero amount of thought, so that's a plus. I like how her death wail is on top of the victory sound, so you literally could never hear them both at the same time. Also, we broke her back. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. <laughs> that we're we're pretty brutal. We we just snapped her spine in two. That that is not how humans bend. This it we can tell she's a magic user because she's uh stored quite a lot of mana in her tits, but uh but uh, then, then we snapped her spine. She's she's pretty dead. As Fatima falls before you, you hear an anguishing wail from the mad priest. His, oh yeah, okay, over there, yeah, yeah, that that mad priest. His suffering is now over. His his soul was linked to her boobs. You shudder at the thought of the evil that he has endured. Ugh, shudder. Don't actually give a shit. You find a key to Loa Befallen in Fatima's quarters. Now to find the villain, Kurtz de Noir, and put a stop to this evil. So, is that the same quest, or is that gonna be the final quest? That's the final quest! The final showdown! The final conflict! I feel like they just needed a little bit more words about why I care about the Dark Heart at all. <laughs> like, I understand it's this big evil thing, and if they get the power of it, then that will make them all powerful, and they're using it to revive the dead, and that's probably bad, but I still, like, you haven't quite pointed out why I'm involved in the first place. It's a pretty common RPG issue that the main character just sort of shows up, and, well, I'm an adventurer, so I'll do things. But, uh, yeah, really feeling like I don't know why I'm here or why I'm doing any of this. Anyway, we've got a long walk ahead of us, so I'm gonna let my mana restore on that walk. They don't even have the Dark Heart you have it, says Specklad. I have the Dark Heart arc. I forget whether that's the Dark Heart or... I, I don't know. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no description. What I'm unclear on is whether the Dark Heart arc contains the Dark Heart, but I'm sure earlier plot told us, and I just don't remember. <laughs> okay, so where was that locked near? Uh, there, that one. Let's go there. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The The quest description literally says not one thing about what the quest is. It's just the final showdown, the final conflict. <laughs> so there's going to be some kind of showdown slash conflict. You couldn't be bothered to write Kurtz de Noir again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go to the Lower Befallen and prepare for the final showdown. I, th I use the key provided by Fatima. Is provided really the right verb here? <laughs> I kind of murdered her. I use the key I took off of her dead, writhing body. <laughs> so nice of her to provide that key to me. Okay, just a regular specter so far. He always will cast death. Victory! Okay. I just, uh, feel like I'm overweight. Yep. <laughs> this game is hell! Let's just, let's just drop whatever. I mean, I'm at the end of the game. I'm obviously not gonna sell this crap, so whatever it takes to get me back up to, uh, fight and wait. 
That'll do! That'll do! Now let's carefully walk in a direction that doesn't make me pick it up again. <laughs> I hope it's not far. I, I really, I want it to just be like... Oh, well, it's not far, okay! <laughs> I didn't even get time to say how I didn't want it to be far completely before it demonstrated how not far it was going to be. You feel a rush of damp, musty air rising from the steps before... Oh, never mind, this is just the staircase, isn't it? <laughs> I was so excited, I thought it was just gonna be the final battle chamber, but instead there's gonna be another freaking area. Game. Uh, map, please. Game. No. Oh, there's gonna be so much more game left in this game. There's also the expansion, <laughs> which I don't even know how to like activate the expansion. I did install it. I promise you. Maybe there'll just be a hallway and a boss room. Or maybe there'll be all sorts of garbage. You always will cast death. Victory! Is that a thing? No. <laughs> just set dressing. I, I complain when there's no set dressing, and I complain when there is set dressing. Y'all be the cast death. Victory! I hope this isn't too complicated. Can it just be like a couple hallways and th no, no, no. There's branches and there's garbage and there's I just I just wanna <laughs> I mean, I I'm not hating this game, but I'm not enjoying it so much that I want it to go on and on and on. <laughs> Y'all be the cast death. Victory! What was that? Just, the whole game just, like, jerked to a stop for a second. That's not promising. So there's just only revenants down here, huh? That's that's pretty good for me because they're not actually a threat at all. <laughs> you always look as death. What? Random earth elemental. Where's your lich? <laughs> and why do you hurt so much? Earth elemental shouldn't hurt that much. Where's your lich? What was that? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've only seen elementals with liches. I guess they could just wander about on their own. I don't know. There we go. Victory. This, I, it's just, it's just revenants. It's just, mm, you always look as to have. Victory! In the hunt for a man named Kurtz, you will only find revenants. With a dramatic roll to R. Why do I do that? <laughs> I found this phrase somewhere. I, I don't remember. I have no clue who originated it, but that any affectation you put on like, sarcastically, or just for a joke or something. If you do that often enough, it will become an honest part of your character, and I have a deep fear that rolling R's at the beginning of words as, it, as an affectation is becoming an honest part of my character. <laughs> he always will cast death. Victory! Ah, Anorak in chat suggests that maybe Kurtz is the Lich who summoned those uh, elementals. Which, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous that I'm going, oh, an elemental, there must be a Lich, because that's not how these things usually work in these sort of uh, game mythologies, but whatever, he always will cast death. Victory, that Spectre Be Gone does seem to do literally nothing. I mean, am I still wear- I'm wearing it- there it is! Spectre Amulet! Is it a Spectre Attracting Amulet? Did we get it completely wrong? Or was, uh, uh... Franck's de Blue? But what was his- I, I have no clue what any of this- <laughs> Whoever we- we bought it off of, I think defrauded us, is all I'm trying to say. Sam, oh, that's right, I was thinking of, uh, 
the other one that I can't remember, the the drunken dwarf, but he just led us to to Samkin. He just redirected us to the to the actual person. This is a promising hallway. I like long hallways because usually there's bosses at the end of them. Sometimes they're just random revenants. He always will cast death. Yictory! Will this be the final door? The final quest? The final destination? The final Grubs de Pal Hordle Jones? <laughs> no. He always will cast death. Victory, well, we're at 24 minutes, so I'm going to end the episode here, but I might not. So if you're watching the video and the next episode starts immediately, then there's less than 15 minutes until the finale of the pre-expansion EverQuest for Pocket PC. Until then, thanks for watching. If you like the video, join us on Discord at yallweasel.com slash Discord. Cheers from Yallweasel.